Hey guys, it's Natalie and Bryn, and we're so excited that you could be here with us tonight for our worship night. If you're new to Hope, please text new to Hope at 97000. And we just wanted to encourage you guys to lay aside every distraction right now so that you can truly honor and worship the Lord because He is ultimately in control and worthy of our praise. Let's worship together. Sing water you turned into wine. Turn into wine. You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness. Into the darkness you shine. And out of the ashes we rise. There's no Faith. What is it? Being sure of our hope. Convinced of what we can't see. By faith, we understand the world was set in order at God's command. By faith, Abel offered God a greater sacrifice than Cain. And for his faith, God commended him as righteous. By faith, Noah trusted God and constructed an ark for the deliverance of his family. By faith, Abraham was willing to sacrifice Isaac, his only son, believing God would still fulfill his promises. By faith, Moses chose to be mistreated with the people of God 
rather than enjoy sin's fleeting pleasure. By faith, God's chosen nation crossed the Red Sea on dry ground and praised him as it swallowed up the Egyptians. By faith, Rahab the prostitute escaped destruction because she welcomed the spies in peace. Time will fail me if I tell of Gideon, David, and the prophets. By faith, they administered justice, shut the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire. But others were imprisoned, murdered, and wandered in deserts, mountains, and openings in the earth. We are surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses. So get rid of every weight, of every sin, and run. Run with endurance the race set before us. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. He is the champion and guide of our faith. For promised joy, he endured the cross, thought nothing of its shame, and having risen again, has been handed his deserved glory at the right hand of the throne of God.
this may fail, my God, you never will. And I may be weak, but your spirit is strong in me. First Peter chapter 1 verses 20 and 21 it says he was foreknown before the foundation of the world but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you who through him are believers in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God God sent his son for our sake he sent his son for us through Christ's death and resurrection we get we are given faith and hope Jesus suffered and died for our sins and rose again to defeat death through this we have forgiveness I believe in the name of Jesus, and I believe that through him we find faith, hope, and forgiveness. And also in the second half, Hebrews 9.22, it says, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. It's easy to forget the magnitude of what Christ did on the cross for us. He took on all the sin in the world and went to the cross to pay for that sin. Without his blood, we are broken and sinful people, but through his blood shed, we are forgiven. It is truly precious blood. So continue and sing with us as we sing about the amazing gift that Jesus gave us on the cross.
eternal. I believe in the virgin birth. I believe in the saints' communion and in your holy church. I believe in the resurrection when Jesus comes again.
Yes, the blood, it is my victory. Hey, everybody. We want to take a few minutes right now and step into a prayer moment. We know that services like this and, and times where we carve out for worship like we've been doing and we'll continue to in just a minute and are powerful. And, and when we take a minute to pray, to settle our hearts, that's powerful too. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you got quiet for a second, you really tried to rid yourself of all distractions and spent some time in prayer? Now, if you're like me or anybody else that you're around on a regular basis, that might almost seem impossible based on how busy we are. Did you know that statistics tell us this, that 89% of people in our country claim to pray regularly? Now, maybe that's a quick prayer over a meal or Lord, help me not be mad at this driver that's in front of me. Let's not count those, okay? 70% claim to pray weekly. About 60% claim to pray daily. But again, if we were to scoop away all of the quick, God bless this food, amen type of prayers, I wonder when the last time you just got quiet for a second and spent a moment in prayer. It's amazing what that can do in your life and in mine. And we want to do that together. You know, prayer is an incredible thing. It's amazing that we have the opportunity to approach the God of the universe and talk to him and share our hearts and and allow that moment to not only settle our hearts, but align our heart with His. You know, you may be thinking, I don't know if I want to approach God. I've had a lot going on in my life and some of it's not been very good. And I just want to encourage you that God's there and, and he'll, he'll hear, He'll listen, He'll lean in. Um, Galatians 4 talks about the child of God and the relationship in which you can approach your heavenly Father as very intimate, as very personal, so this is not a detached moment where, where maybe hopefully somebody listening somewhere hears this. No, this is your heavenly father leaning in to listen because he cares a lot about you. So here's what we're going to do. Whoever you may be with, if you're with your family, if you happen to be by yourself, we're going to take a minute, literally a minute right now. You're going to have 60 seconds to take a deep breath. It's going to be good for us to take a deep breath and just pray. Whatever's on your heart, Tell that to your heavenly father, ask him for wisdom, ask him for guidance, knowing that he is a God who is there and who listens and who always has the, the answers and the guidance for us in our life. So right now you're going to see a 60 second timer come up and we want you to take advantage for the next minute to spend a powerful moment in prayer. Now that may or may not have been difficult for you. I know sometimes having a moment of prayer can be, and that's okay. But what an incredible habit and discipline to be in in your life. I'm telling you, prayer changes things. It's not because of the words we string together, it's because of who we're praying to. So make sure you, you approach your heavenly father and give him your, your heart and lay those requests at his feet and, and watch what he does in your life and, and how things change. And the truth is we need to pray. We need to pray because we go through tough stuff, don't we? We have difficult days. Maybe we deal with difficult people. 
Maybe we're struggling with some things that nobody else would know about, but there's a struggle going on in our hearts, and maybe that's happening even today. The truth is, we need God, don't we? One of those important parts of prayer is it reminds us of just how much we need God. And expressing that is a powerful thing too. That's what we're about to do. Let's sing this song together about how much we need God every single day in our lives. Thank you for joining us tonight for our night of worship. We have one more song before we close this evening. We've been looking forward to this for some time because in a world where we can be very tempted to be distracted by all sorts of things, even good things, 
A night like this reminds us and forces us really to press pause on everything else around us and take just a few moments and worship God. And so this last song that we're going to sing helps carry this idea that there are so many different foundations that we can build our life on. But there's only one foundation that is strong and is worth really building anything on. And it's the foundation of Jesus Christ and his love and his righteousness. So would you sing with me and Hannah as we close out this evening? Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever bring We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever Sing. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you.
guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you found this encouraging. And we want to invite y'all either to our online or in-person service this coming Sunday. And if you're new to Hope, like we said earlier, please text NEW TO HOPE to 97000. I hope you have a great rest of your week.